uh, the next topic in the design analysis of algorithm we are going to see about the maximum matching in a bipartite graph in the unit 4 uh, the question will be giving you that along, along with the vertices uh, in the alphabets or in the numbers so we need to find the perfect pair with the uh, vertices along with the uh, number uh, so what we should do in the sense means so either we can go uh, we either we can go in the queue by storing the vertices by in this format or either we can start the vertices in the numbering format so i am going to start by this way so in the queue what are all the vertices are available uh, in the uh, alphabets in the vertices we should specify that in the queue that what are all the vertices are available so i am specifying the the vertices so what they have given from a to till e so first in the queue uh, a is entered so we need to start with a so see the connectivity of a so a is connected with one and then a is connected with two so we need to check the possible pair is that whether one is connected with any other vertices or not so one doesn't connect with any other vertices one only one is connected with a then one is a perfect pair of a then put the dark shaded line over one and then a so once if the a pair is assigned for one and then a which means that if any other connectivity is there from uh, one or from uh, a we should not mind about that so see here the next term in the queue b is there so we need to start to proceed with the b connectivity so whatever the uh, vertices which you have formed the perfect path that should be uh, striked out in the queue so i am striking out a from the queue so the next vertices to be uh, find the perfect pair is of b so check for b b is connected with 2 and then b is connected with 3 see here b is connected with 3 as well as this 3 is connected with d so we should not take this 3 and then c for 2 2 is connected with a and then 2 is connected with b so i told that already a is assigned for 1 so this edge is not considered so then we can say that only edge for 2 is b so b and then 2 are being matched as a pair and then it will be marked as a dark shaded line so now uh, q now in the q b is visited so we need to strike it out b so next we move to the uh, vertex of c so in c you just check it so in c uh, c is only connected with 4 and then c about 4 4 is connected with e so what we can say in the sense means so for c it doesn't have any any other connectivity other than 4 so c is perfectly matching with 4 alone so we need to put the dark shaded line over c and then 4 so that c is a, a perfect match for 4 so uh, the next thing what we should do in the queue is we need to strike it out c from the queue because c we have matched the pair so the next thing we need to visit is of d see here so for d d is the only vertices which has a connectivity with the the connectivity with the vertex number as 3 and then 3 has connectivity with the connectivity with b b is already has a matching pair of 2 so this edge we won't be considered then there is only one edge which is connected with d that is 3 and then d alone so d is perfectly matching with 3 so we need to put the dark shaded line over d and then 3 so this is about the uh, step 4 which you are going to do so d is perfectly matching with 3 so at last in the queue what we should do is so d is also match so put the strike out strike mark over the uh, over the queue as d is uh, visited so the next word is to be visited, visited is of e so in the uh, queue we have visited a b c d so the next thing we need to visit as e so check out the vertices for e the connectivity so e is connected with 4 and then e is connected with 5 check out whether the connected edges are already the pair with the vertices so 4 is already as a pair with c so we should not mind this edge so you just ignore this edge between the 4 and then e and then see the connectivity of e and then 5 so there is a only one edge for e and then 5 because 4 is already having the connectivity with the C so this H you should not mind so only E and 5 is getting connected so E is perfectly matching with 5 so put the dark shaded line over the uh, E and then 5 so whatever the things which I have marked in the graph with the dark shaded lines those are all the perfect match 
this is said to be the maximum matching in biparat graph at last in the conclusion we should write the pairs who are all matched and then who are all the pairs have been formed so a is matched with one so a is assigned as one a with one as a pair and then b is matched with two so b is uh, b and then two are the pairs c is matched with the four so c is uh, matched with the four as a formed as a pair d is matched with the three so d and then three are the pair e and then phi are the uh, phi are matching so dark shaded line is frame so e and then phi formed as a pair so this is about the maximum matching in a bipedal graph